For this DIY, you need letter stencils like so. Got these for my folks. There's another stencil. It's a bird, which to me represents freedom. So we're going to be using this. We need fabric markers, four fabric paint brushes, and a long sleeve sweater. So it helps to put a cardboard on the inside. That way, the paint doesn't transfer over. This I kind of pinpoint my chest area and so when I'm tracing the stencils out I will make sure that it is within this borderline so that is the point of the needles here and I'm going to go ahead and place that here again remember we don't want to go past this point here on the needle so I am going to place it right here and I think this is sufficient which is where it is right now I am going to place the letter O over the U just to kind of get a landmark so that when I do take the stencils out, I'm still within the parameters that I need to be on. tracing this bird right here and the leaves so the bird is going to be yellow I'm just going to press down on it I want it to be right there I'm just sitting here and I'm just gonna go ahead and down the world seems small we can sit together using my tulip marker to trace that out and so this is it I traced out the bird with a black marker the one thing that I quickly wanted to add to this DIY is the word N-O-W it's really important that people get out to um, cast their vote whether you're Republican Democrats or independent get out and vote I'm gonna be using three colors obviously um, I'm gonna be using yellow blue and pink and I'll actually go in detail to um, paint each letter but right now I'm gonna trace it out with the individual colors For 
forever free. I'm gonna go ahead and use my fabric cleaner so that it pops. And I'm gonna do the same for all the letters. It is all done. This is what the finale looks like. I really love how this turned out. I'm so impressed. Um, the quality of the fabric glue, amazing. I'll keep you guys posted when I wash it to see if it washes off. But I, I believe it says it, it can stay for up to like 50 washes. So, But I will keep you guys posted on that. But it looks fantastic. And this is a fun way to make your own shirt. And be sure to, of course, go out and vote today. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll see you guys on my next DIY. You and me.